Let's talk about the press conference. Very recently happened, a lot of eyes, um, a lot of people believe you handled the press conference best you could and made him look extremely childish and got the upper hand from it. Talk to us. How do you feel, Ben? How do you feel? I feel like you've done a great job. I feel like it definitely gave everyone more confidence in you than before. I feel like you gained a lot of followers and a lot of people in favour of you from the press conference. Talk us through it. Yeah, no, I mean, listen, uh, so like I said, there was more that I wanted to say, but this dude just wouldn't shut up. So I felt like <laughs> it's going to be almost impossible for me to get like a full thought out there because he's mm. just like um, annoying. And But yeah. you know what is really crazy? And, uh, and maybe this is me, me being like an older guy and speaking. It's like he's still so incredibly insecure. And, you know, he is famous. Mm -hmm. He does, to my knowledge, have a lot of money. I can't confirm that yeah. or deny that for sure, but yeah. it appears that way. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. and he's still so insecure with himself. I mean, just like, I, I don't know where you are in your birth order. Um, I'm the older brother. I whoop my little brother's ass all the time. Every older brother whoops their little brother's ass. Now, sometimes <laughs> yes. little brother, I'm the oldest, lucky like, yeah, I'm the oldest. You know what I'm talking about, right? You whooped your little yeah, brother's it's ass. True. It's, it's true. true. It's true. And it's like true. the fact that he couldn't say, yeah, my older brother whooped my ass. Like yeah, the fact yeah. that he got so mad. Listen, that's a part of growing up. If you're the big brother, you're the whooping. And sometimes the yeah. little brother gets bigger than you, right? And then it yeah. the tides turn when you're a little older. But when yeah. you're younger, it's not the case. And the fact that he couldn't like admit to that, it just shows a really, really high level of insecurity. Yeah. No, I think I noticed that. I noticed the and I thought it was very it was a subtle tactic from you, but very effective for you to reference him as Logan's little brother. And uh, I think that was very smart because you know, you, you know, you had a feeling of what it would do, and it's not such an in-your-face statement, but it triggered such a reaction. So smart, yeah, smart from your side. But just um, the fact he's just like so, um, and you know, I didn't follow the polls at all before this fight got announced. Now, you know, I don't mm -hmm. follow him a lot, but mm -hmm. looking into it, the the in the level of insecurity from someone who is you know rich and famous. Um, it, it's kind of ridiculous. He should learn to brush off those those comments on social media a little bit more. And I, mm -hmm. you know, I had a lot more material, but uh, you know, again, he wouldn't shut up, so I didn't really get to get into it too deeply. Um, how did you feel about him saying you choked at the Olympics and you choked in the UFC and his constant reference to Masvidal and obviously to you, I know it's probably just falling on deaf ears, but how what what was going through your mind at the time? What, what happened? Um, what yeah, it's just, it, it's probably the way he thinks about it. And, but he, again, he's really immature and insecure. Um, you know, I, one of the statements uh, I use a lot when I'm, when I'm thinking about this type of stuff, and mm -hmm. this, this could be athletic competitions. This could be a lot of other things in life. You never want to tie your ego to the outcome. Um, right. And again, it could be business. It could be relationships. It could Because be, when you tie your ego to the outcome, you can get screwed. Um, yeah. because some things aren't going to turn out the way you... I think that's a gem. I think that's a gem you just dropped there on the, that, that's very on the show. Sick. Yeah. Sick. I yeah. think that's a gem. Um, yeah. every, every conversation that we have with someone, something stays with you. I think that is one that's going to stay with us from today. Absolutely. Yeah. And so, um, you know, like I, I referenced to my, I coach kids at my wrestling academy. My brother, I own five of them. And I love coaching. And I, and I always say, like, kids get a lot of built up that, oh, if I, if I win state, something's going to happen. If I, oh, if I lose, this is going to happen. And it's like, don't, don't tie your ego to the outcome. You're the same guy. I always say, listen, July 5th, you know, mm -hmm. if I win July 6th, I'm fighting for the world title next. I got, I got knocked out in the most embarrassing fashion probably anyone ever has in, in mixed martial arts. I'm the same guy July 7th. I am not a different person, right? Yeah. yeah. And so, mm -hmm. listen, you just have to – uh, respect yourself for who you are and what you do. And you can't think that something crazy is going to happen because of one positive or negative outcome. Yeah, it's, true. it's true. And it's hard to actually maintain that level of thought. So I think that says something already about the mental strength that you're bringing into this fight. Um, um, well, that, I mean, that actually it? helps a lot of people. I don't know. Um, I, I did, I do this segment called mental Monday on some of my social media. And sometimes it's my Academy social media and literally, literally the number one quite, I've been doing it for like five years. The number one qu asked question by far, by a very long ways is something to the effect of, Hey, my kid wrestles really well. And they get to that mm -hmm. big match and they don't, they don't perform. 
And it's so almost nice. always because the kid is putting an extra emphasis or they're treating that differently. If I do this, then this will happen. And it's like, no, mm -hmm. you just go out there and compete. And hey, if it goes well, it goes well. If it doesn't, then you go back to the drawing board. Very no. true. Very true. And and I think true. a lot of people put a pressure on themselves that is not required. It doesn't need to be there. You know, it's just all kind of built up within ourselves. And um, yeah, you seem like, yeah, that's not going to be a problem for you come fight day. Um, what do you think of Jake's coaching stuff? What do you think of BJ Flores as a coach? What do, you, do you respect him or? Yeah. I, I don't actually know. I don't know all that much about BJ Flores except the fact that he lost four ship role title fights, which is that's got to be a record. <laughs> 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 oh, Ben, you came. You came yeah. with the smoke today. You came with some yeah. smoke today. Uh, but the fair whole enough. That, listen, fair enough. I don't know about you. I can't. Yeah. I can't. I don't want to speak for you. <laughs> and okay. I'm doing okay in life. I don't know that anyone could pay me enough to be their cheerleader. Ah, that's, ah, that's true. true. That, that was crazy. crazy. That's, that's pre-planned. Pre yeah. <laughs> I don't know yeah, if you're that was crazy. enough. 